Hello there, good morning. You're watching Proactive in London and Vivas Perunas is joining us once again from Teresa because we're talking today about the Caro PGM project in Zimbabwe. This all share deal. This is a huge momentous occasion for your firm, Vivas. So talk us through it. I know it's been a lot of work going on here to lead you up to this day. It has indeed, and, and uh, thank you, Katie, for, for hosting me again. So what we've done is we've exercised control over the Cara PGM project, as you rightfully say, uh, through the exercise of the option, whereby we will issue LITO settlements uh, with shares of $13.69 million, uh, equating to just around $27 million US million worth of uh, shares. And really, this is at a discount to a predetermined uh, valuation metric uh, which was negotiated in 2018 when when uh, the exploration rights were awarded and so since then uh, the team have been working tirelessly to prove up the resource and the viability um, of developing a, a tier one project and a, and developing the asset itself on the great dike in Zimbabwe so it really is a milestone achievement for us and it fits right into our strategy of diversification uh, moving away from one major project to two, geographic diversification, and also complementary platinum group metal split. Uh, there is a, a significantly higher palladium content uh, in Zimbabwe on the Great Dyke at some 42%, um, with platinum at 45%, and it's a very nice gold at 9%, and good copper and nickel. So very complementary to what we've got at Teresa. So, so all in all, uh, an exciting phase for us. And it also ticks the box of being a quick to market project in the sense that it has a 24 month uh, build timeline uh, with commissioning within that period. So we could see uh, us producing PGM answers within this period from an open pit, uh, importantly, um, uh, and uh, really doubling our output of PGMs from, from this project. Yeah, I wanted to pick up on that, actually, because I think that's something that would excite your investors here, because you've said the output is to double on completion of the phase one of this Correct. project. So that, that's huge. It is, it is significant. And bearing in mind that this project is just short of 24,000 hectares, and the area that we're talking about is, is really just scraping the surface, literally and figuratively, some 4% of the, the known resource there. So, so there's a long life here and there's lots of expansion into multiple phases. And so when we spoke about this project and, and we discussed it with shareholders, we always said we we're going to take a measured stepped approach. And this phase one represents that. Obviously, a lot of work going into setting up a new business, new competencies in country. Uh, so, so it is a very measured approach, um, and, and the capital at $250 million ha has a low capital intensity per PGM ounce, ounce uh, compared to some of our other peers, and, um, and, and really represents a, a very, uh, I, I would say, uh, measured and calculated approach into the Great Dyke, which is a, you know, the second largest PGM resource after the, uh, the Igneous Complex in, in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Something I saw that's interesting is that the Zimbabwe government has a 15% holding in Cairo. Um, does that kind of help in terms of, of giving you sort of influence and, and network? So, so it, is, it is unique in Zimbabwe and it is the first of its kind and we welcome the Zimbabwean government and the people in fact uh, of Zimbabwe as our mm -hmm. partners and certainly it, it facilitates the discussion uh, around incentives like the special economic zone that we have and it brings alignment uh, between the partners in terms of project delivery and execution and we found the Zimbabwean government to be extremely accommodating and welcoming and you know to their mantra of being open uh, for business we certainly have experienced that so um, we welcome them and we look forward to a, a prosperous relationship going forward. Mm -hmm. And just lastly, before we, we get you to leave us, I know you're very busy, um, just give us a takeaway in terms of your ESG, because you kind of alluded to it earlier, because of course you're diversifying and, and there's a need for that now. But what is your commitment as a company? 
Yeah, so, so we have a clearly stated commitment. We are looking to reduce our carbon emissions by 30% by 2030 and then being carbon net neutral by 2050. So you would have uh, noticed that we announced a 40 megawatt solar project at the Teresa mine, uh, which will get us a long way to achieving the, the initial goal and, and uh, longer term to our carbon net neutral status. We're also trialing new technology in terms of our mining fleet, diesel electric trucks, which have uh, reduced uh, diesel consumption and efficiency. Uh, and so the same philosophy that we uh, deploy in South Africa will be deployed in Zimbabwe. And we do, in fact, intend on putting up renewable energy at the CARO project uh, to, to manage that carbon footprint and meet those uh, ESG metrics and milestones that we've set. All right, sounds good. We'll let you go. Thank you so much indeed for taking the time to speak to us. It's Vivos Perulis here on Proactive London from Teresa.